So let's talk about what it was like back in the day. Attendance, I had attendance. <laughs> I had attendance problems for sure. I had an attendance policy, but let's get real. I didn't follow it. My attendance policy was basically that I knew who was going to be at work when they showed up that day. Like when I saw the whites of their eyes, all right, that was kind of roll call for me. And um, that was a terrible way to live. Quality, again, it was kind of a hope and pray policy. Um, I would send them out to the jobs, prayed that none of the clients called to complain, and called that a good day. An attitude, that was really the only core value that I didn't suck at. I didn't allow blatant disrespect, but I allowed way, way too much. And my, de my employees definitely ruled the roost. I knew things were out of control, and I honestly hated going to the office. I wasn't very fond of my employees at the time, and I knew if a current client was calling, it probably was not to brag about the great job we were doing. Does any of that sound familiar? And if it does, who do you think is, control, is in control at your company? It's the employees, right? But do your employees own your business? Do they worry about paying the bills? Do they work pretty much 24 seven trying to make that business succeed? No, they don't. So why would you give them control over your business, at least intermittently? It's fear. Fear that if you tighten the policies, which really doesn't mean tighten the policies, it just means enforce your policies. It's fear that your employees might leave you. It's fear that you'll be short-handed and Lord help us, you might have to go fill in. It's fear that you'll have to slow down growth because you don't have enough staff. But let me ask you, what's more terrifying? Is it more terrifying to think that you'll need to slow down growth a bit while you fix your employee issues and figure out how to stack the applicant deck to get more people in? but then it changes things going forward? Or is it more terrifying to think that your business will grow, but it's gonna feel just like this, out of control? Now, I don't know about you, but when I asked myself that question long, long ago, Hands down, I did not want to continue owning a business that felt as bad as it felt at the time. Lastly, think about this. When you head to work in the morning, can you feel reasonably sure that everyone's going to show up to work? Or do you not know, like me, until you see them. And when you send people out to their jobs, can you trust that everything should go well? Or are you fearful that the complaints will start rolling in? And if you cannot answer yes, yes, everybody should show up and yes, everything should go well, then why would you want to hang on to that arrangement anyway? Isn't it better to risk being shorthanded in lieu of a bigger payout and know what you can count on? I think it is. I'd rather act proactively and prepare any day 
than always reactively recovering. Because being proactive, even if it's bad, you're in control, whereas reactive, you're at the mercy of others. <laughs>